I just updated to the latest version of CapCut, which is version 7.1. Do you know that you can actually use CapCut Pro features in this version? You don't need to install anything extra. You don't have to download anything risky. You won't need to visit any shady websites at all. We are going to use an inbuilt feature inside CapCut itself. This will help us achieve this amazing trick. This video will guide you step by step on how to use CapCut Pro features in version 7.1.0. It includes a disclaimer that the video is for educational purposes only. This video does not promote piracy or external software. I emphasize the importance of watching carefully to ensure the method works. I will use CapCut's built-in tools and existing folders on your computer. So first things first, let's download CapCut, and we are going to download it from CapCut's official website. Open any browser you prefer and type CapCut in the search bar. Then click on CapCut Desktop, which will lead you directly to the official CapCut website. On the website, click the download button located at the upper right corner of the page. CapCut will redirect you to a new page, and all you need to do is wait for the installer to download onto your desktop. Just give it a moment until it completes. Is wait for the installer to download onto your desktop. Just give it a moment until it completes. Once the CapCut installer is fully downloaded, open it and follow the simple on-screen instructions to install CapCut on your desktop. It's very easy and straightforward to install. When the installation is complete, open the CapCut software. When you open CapCut, you will see the home page interface just like this. The first important thing to note is that I haven't signed in with any account, and these steps work perfectly even without signing in. If you go to Settings and then to Version, you will see that I am using version 7.1, which is the latest version available. Even when I hover my cursor over the version, CapCut confirms that the software is fully up to date. You can update yours to the latest version as well. Now. Let's create a new project so I can show you all the good stuff I have for you in this video. I've opened a new project, and this is the refreshed interface of CapCut, complete with some truly impressive features. If you want me to create a video explaining all the new features that CapCut has introduced in this latest version, just let me know in the comments section. Next, I will click on Import and bring a video into the media panel. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to trim the video before adding it to the timeline. But of course, you can insert any video you want. After trimming it slightly, I'll add it to the timeline and trim it again just a bit because I don't want this tutorial to be too long. I'll click on the icon that zooms the video to fit the timeline so we can see it more clearly. Now let's begin adding some pro features to this video. The first one I'll use is captions, since this is one of the most commonly used features in CapCut. So let's go to captions and generate captions for the video. Just wait a moment while CapCut generates them. Once the captions are generated, let's add some pro animations. Go to animation and then move to the section where the custom caption animations are located. From there, select one of the pro animations. I'm choosing the boost out animation for this tutorial. Next, let's go to text and change the font to jumper. Now let's add even more pro features to the video. You can actually apply any pro feature while editing. I will start by adding an effect. Go to effects and apply the golden big bang effect, which is also a pro effect. Then I will go to filters and add a filter to the video. For this example, I'll use the bad bunny filter. After adding it, I'll extend the filter so that it matches the entire duration of the video, and then decrease its intensity slightly to make it look cleaner. When you are done editing your video and you try to export it, when you try to export your video, you won't be able to export it with all the pro features you used while editing. So let's go back to our edit, because this is where the crucial steps begin. Follow these steps very carefully and make sure you are completely done editing your video before you start this process. The first thing you need to do is highlight everything on the timeline. Then right-click and create a compound clip. Once that is done, go to the basic section under the video tab. Scroll down until you find the motion blur feature. Click the box to add motion blur to your video and then set the blur level to 5 and the blend level to 5 as well. Now wait for the motion blur effect to finish processing. 
Depending on the length and size of your video, this part can take some time. So just be patient and let it complete. Now that the motion blur processing is finished, it's time for you to get your video with all the pro features you added during editing. This part of the process also needs to be followed very carefully because if you miss even a single step, the method might not work. First, minimize the CapCut window. Then open your file explorer from the taskbar. Once it opens, maximize the window so everything is easy to see. On the left side, click on this PC. After that, open your local disk C, which is where all software data is stored. Inside local disk C, look for the users folder and open it. Then choose the folder with your PC's name. In my case, it's Dell, so I will open the Dell folder. Inside that folder, look for the app data folder. If you don't see the app data folder, that's because it is hidden by default. To reveal it, go to the view tab and click the box next to hidden items. Once you check it, the app data folder will appear. Open it and inside app data, open the local folder. Inside the local folder, look for the cap cut folder. Open it and then go inside the user data folder. Inside user data, look for the cache folder and open it. Now inside the cache folder, open the motion blur folder. Mine is right here. You will see all the videos you have tested using this method. I have tested many videos and it works every single time. This is our video, so let's open it. As you can see, every single pro feature I added, the captions, the effects, and the filters is right here and the video plays with no issues at all. Now this is what you need to do next. You can either use your video directly from this folder or you can drag and drop it back into CapCut. I'm going to move the video to the starting point in my timeline and delete the original version I created. Now, when you try to export, you will finally be able to export your video without any problems. So let's go to export and export our video. You can choose whatever resolution you want, adjust the FPS according to your needs, and you are good to go. Now you can export your video with all the pro features applied. Before we move forward, here is a reminder. This is for educational purposes only. I am not promoting piracy, third-party applications, or illegal downloads. Everything shown here uses CapCut's own built-in folders on your desktop. This method may not work for everyone because different devices and software updates can change how CapCut behaves. I hope these CapCut tricks help you get more out of version 7.0, but remember that results can vary depending on your system and updates.